Okay, this is what the new design will look like. Have two inlets at the top. The piece of tube will come down, sit down here. The inside will be flushed to the inside here. Uh, the spindle will sit here and the shaft will go through there. The idea is to try to block off as best as possible the any particles or anything hitting the bottom side of the spindle. And underneath, this is what I, um, this section here is designed so that the spindle can sort of cavitate in its own little pocket without uh, drawing too much dust and stuff up into this section so that the air where the higher pressure is or the higher vacuum is will come along the sides and will suck into that section there. What I've tried to do here as well is I've tried to make it so that the air is coming at an angle into the tube rather than some of the other designs where they sort of go up, across and up which obviously restricts flow. So I've tried to make like a 45 degree angle there and the air the bits and pieces gets picked up here comes up at an angle then then turns into the tube to come straight up there'd be something similar to this on the top side which would be the reverse um, so if we were to take this and try and copy and flip that guy around something like that the other end that's oh, out to there um, the other end so the, the tubes come up into here and then they have a massive opening here which would be something like uh, probably a four inch opening where the the main vacuum would be able to come in through there down the tubes and then pick up from here and that's basically what the new design will look like.